Hello, welcome to Rock Reacts. My name is Simon Millers. Man, right here is John Denton, aka Jaylee the Prophet. It's Profit and Gains. Profit and Gains. Profit and Gains. Pang. John don't like that, but I'm sticking with it. Uh, gap, man. <laughs> we can't make a copyright claim. We can't. What? They come at us. Gap will come yellow. They can't copyright a gap. I probably can. What? I don't know. Uh, right, we're getting towards yeah. the end of 2018, which is crazy. So we had a little sit down, a little chat, yeah. and we thought we should probably do our top 10 hip hop tracks of the year, given that this little journey started in March, around about nine months ago or so. Yes. And we thought, almost oh, 10 months now. And we thought, mm. yeah, we should run all down. Pick our best tracks. You've got to do a bit year end on, yeah. uh, on uh, you know, on a media outlet. Which exactly. Is kind of we've yeah. got to do. So John's going to do five, I'm going to do five. We're going to take it in turns. And it's basically like a nostalgic journey over the last nine months as we've grown to love this little thing called hip-hop. Absolutely. Simple as that. Simple yeah, as that. Yeah, I mean, it's that's... time for us to, to share our thoughts and, and have a chat about it. I guess it's in no particular order, but I've, I've loosely put mine in an order of what yeah, I like. But... me too. And the other thing as well, is just to point out as well, that we'll have missed loads. Oh, dude. Like, we sat here and we tried to put it together, but, you know, we, we'll have missed loads. Like, yeah. loads. So, yeah, yeah. it's more about, I guess, artists that have made an impression on us than we've picked a track that we've done on the channel. Exactly. So, but yeah. Exactly. Look, that's what the comment section is for. If you miss anything, drop, what's your... That's no, what's your top 10 tracks? Put it in the comments. Have absolutely, a absolutely. Or even like your top three of the year or yeah, whatever. whatever. It is, or your yeah, number yeah, one. Listen. What's your favourite track of the year? Like, listen, you know, whatever you want to do is cool. List, list features, whatever you want to call this, will always cause debate and argument, and that's kind of yeah. why they work. But at the same time, I like to think of them as a celebration, of, especially the that's, year end ones. That's yeah, what that's, they're for. That's it's the a way celebration. I look at it as well. And you guys will put loads of stuff in the comments, and both of us will go, ah. Exactly. But that's, that's why fine. they're so good. That's why they're really good, because they inspire debate really easily. Yes. So how is that a number? Yeah, I feel like I should, we should face each other a little bit. I'm going to come in at like a more like 30 like degree Paxman. angle. Yeah, yeah. Paxman. Yeah, Paxman. exactly. Yeah, a bit of an angle. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you want me to start? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so my first one, and again, it's in no particular order, but kind of loosely, I don't want to think about it too much, is Clout Cobain by Denzel Curry off the Taboo record. Yep, yep. Now, I could have probably picked a few different tracks off that record, but I'm picking that basically on the power of the video as well as being a very decent tune. And that kind of showed to me, after having heard a couple of Denzel tracks already and really appreciating what he was bringing to the rap yeah. game, the energy and the kind of weight and heaviness of his music, it showed to me that there was a lot more depth to, to his mu music as well, and they had a lot more um, variety as an artist with the sung hook, with the, um, the, interesting, uh, the interesting points that it makes. It's a track about... You know how so we talked about this in another video actually recently about how drug culture and depression and su suicide and stuff is being packaged up and resold at the moment, and that's definitely something that is permeating music, hip hop, but all sorts of walks of life at the moment. And I think I'm troubled by that. It's some of these, you know, very much like on the uh, on the side of wanting to to be open and talk about mental health, and that's obviously one of the good things that's happened in this year. But the second something good comes out. People will try and package it and set it back. That's just the way the world works. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Now, I thought it's a powerful video and it's it, it's a good track, man. It's a very good track, and the album is fantastic. And he's a brilliant artist, as far as I'm concerned. There you go. Can't say further yeah. than that, right? I agree with you. Although I don't, because it's not on my list. But yep. <laughs> uh, I'm starting with XXX. Still can't pronounce the second part of that. Tentacion. 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 Uh, and sad. I think you could. I could have picked numb. I could have picked. Oh, I don't need to go through it. But I picked that one because that was the first one. That was more of a, I'm picking this more of as an experience thing for yeah. like John and I. Yeah, yeah. In the sense, when we first heard that, it was like a moment. I mean, go back watch video or something. Now, like, the hell is this? Exactly. Like, opening yeah. your eyes to something brand new about a guy. With a, honestly, on paper, when you don't know, weird name. Like, what the hell is that? Like, it's just. We said know. this on the on one of the other videos that's probably up on the channel already. I've literally never seen that word before. No, I had this channel. I had, and to yeah. go with XXX. I mean that. You know, has other connotations yeah. too. To the point, that if you ever upload a video onto YouTube, it just says X is X, it will ban it because it thinks it's porn. Yeah. That's not the point. I mean, all these things come together. And when we first heard Sad, I mean, it's all the things we've said about X a thousand times. Like, no one else I think I've heard this year manages to convey his emotion so well on record. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, Agreed. the little letters that he writes, they don't have two minute sort of letters to himself and yeah. to other people. The way he's able to convey that and somehow, you know, repeat music and repeat phrases over and over mm -hmm. again, but it works and it hits you emotionally. The fact you believe everything he's down saying. It's just, you know, you can go back and listen to it now, even more so in December, because when we heard it, the man was still alive, and obviously yes. now, tragically, has passed away. Again, as we always talk about X, we know there's controversy around him too, but again, if we only dealt with the people that didn't have controversy, we'd just do Coldplay all the time, yes. because unfortunately, that's just the way of the world. But anyway, it, it is. I don't think we'd be here today, and I don't think I'd have an understanding for hip-hop, or whatever the genre you want to call it, irrelevant, but just to try and... I mean, you wouldn't even call that song hip-hop, but it is at the same time, if you know what We're, I mean. Because we're not really interested in genre, but exactly. at the same time, like we do accept that they exist. Um, yeah, it, it, it's the most wider songs world. Hip hops. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're, we're but, gonna, like you can argue to the cows come home about what that is. Yeah, and what we that don't want to do that. That's not what but we're I don't think to do. I'd be here right now without that song. Hence, why I think it had to be on a list because it's important. Even if it, in never do it again. I think it opened a door, and those doors are really important, especially when you're trying to learn a new genre. Damn so. right. Damn yeah. right. 
Okay, next up for me is a song that I could, um, you know, I basically scrolled down our videos and was seeing, and I was like, of course. And then I remembered it, and I thought, every time I've heard this song, every time I've heard it on our own playlist, every single time that uh, it's, it's played on the radio, and it is actually played on the radio a decent amount over here, I, I just like it more and more. I just yeah. really like this track, and it's ASAP Rocky and Skepta with Praise the Lord. Good shout. Um, it's just a great track with a great beat. I love the video with the contrast between, you know, what's I think it was in New York and obviously in London where half it's shot and the similarities and the differences and everything yeah. like that. And, uh, you know, skip his flow on it is fucking cool. ASAP Rocky is basically just like flawless. Um, love the whole style of the video. Love the, you know, even if it's the, the fucking cover he's wearing. And yeah, it's just a great track. Like a track that I could put on for people who don't necessarily like rap or hip hop and they wouldn't listen to a single word of it, but they just enjoy the beat and the yeah. way the flow sounds, which is kind of how I used to listen to hip hop. Hip. How you said this <laughs> to hip hop and rap before we did this. Yeah. You know, there were some songs I paid attention to the lyrics, but that's basically how I think a rock fan's ear will listen to hip hop. They'll listen to the beat and they'll listen to the flow, but not necessarily the words. And I think you can do that with this song, but when you delve in, delve in a little bit deeper, there is some substance there. It's an interesting track. It's not the most introspective or thought provoking track you'll ever hear in your life, but you like I it. like it a lot. That's yeah, yeah, it it's crept in. It could actually potentially be taken and replaced by some of my special mentions. We'll get to special mentions at the end, but yeah. I haven't heard them enough yet. Yeah, exactly. That's a bit yeah, of that longevity. Yeah, yeah. There are other songs I didn't put on because actually they've run their course. And I want stuff that kind of yeah, yeah. Have, well, has an attachment. Which is my next choice. Everyone's going to go nuts. It is Billy by 6 9 But it's for very much the same... Talk your <laughs> shit! <laughs> it's for very much the same stuff we were talking about a minute ago with X. Now, X is far deeper. And I think he's, he's, he's far... Yeah, he's just stuff to, we could have just expanded more than potentially 6 9 does. Uh, but Billy and Cuda, but Cuda came out December 2017, so I take Billy in instead, was another one of those gateway tracks for me. Yep. I wouldn't be as understanding or as appreciative of hip hop if it wasn't for songs like that. Now, again, I know loads of people don't like him, yep. uh, both personally and professionally. I hate to talk with the professional side of things. Yep. But again, it was a song I listened to for ages, still listen to now. It's angry, it's got fire. Yep. Here is something special about the way he delivers his lines. It is fun, it is funny, yep. it is engaging. And yeah, it was just the atmosphere and the intensity and the intimidation that he created but also got me bopping my head, yep. got me understand that kind of heaviness that you can get in hip-hop. And again, without it, I don't think I would have understand other stuff, other better songs that we've yeah. heard. And you can call call it out for whatever you want, but like if you follow our channel for a long time, you know that yeah. Six Nines in an important eyes for exactly. the channel. Exactly. Like, and Simon needed, at that time, and I did as well, but you know, I think probably to a greater extent you did oh, at the time when so, we yeah. started, an artist to break through like that. And we had a few, like Logic would did it in a different way, I would say, when we, when we did that early on. But Six Nine was obviously the one just that to really make, opened your ears. Just to make me understand how it can make me feel in the same way that metal does. Yeah, exactly. And that. I think there are songs that will do that more, but I wouldn't have been able to appreciate that songs without somebody taking me in. We always go from a metal point of view. I know loads of people that got into metal because of the Black Album. Yeah. Loads of Metallica fans shit over the Black Album and think it wasn't what we yeah. But that's why it's more than blah. Anyway, but that's why, you know, when I sat down to make this list, I've got to mention it. Because if I don't, yeah. I'm kind of doing a disservice to everything I've learned over the last 10 months. Yeah. So in that sense, Six Nine has to go in. Yeah. Also, it's a banger. And it just is. I mean, like, it's a great, it's, it, yeah. I don't want to say I understand. I love that song to yeah. this day. I actually think it's better than everything else he's released after it. Yeah. Just Agreed. do. Agreed. I think, I think it kind of, for me personally, it goes downhill. But that song is great. And that's yeah. why it gets... Yeah, the song's fire. Like, yeah. That was back when he was at peak of his powers. Absolutely. Which is crazy because it was like... A month, a ago. day ago, but, yeah. But I mean, yeah, that's, yeah. And it, yeah, yeah. Just, to, I do think it's a great song as well. I, yeah, I, I yeah. kind of just. I do, I do, I do, I do. It's a funny song, it's a daft song. Oh, it's yeah, daft, but it's brilliant. Fair, brilliant. Yeah. So. Become less daft now. He's in prison for the stuff he talks about in that song. Well, but at least he's honest, uh, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, me next, and it's one I know we both like. Um, I don't know if it's major list. We'll twist it around if it has. But it's uh, Mona Lisa by Lil Wayne. Um, oh man, that's now, a tune and a half. Shout out on the day. This, I believe, was actually recorded years ago and only saw the light of day this year, but it came out this year, so it's a song this year. And yeah. it's just a brilliant storytelling hip hop track. Um, it was the first one we listened to off the Carter Five. The Carter yeah. Five? Yeah, the Carter yeah, Five? The Carter Four? The Carter Five? The Five. Five. The five. Okay, no, sorry, my brain. And just reminded me instantly of how much I used to like Lil Wayne when I was listening to the Carter Three years ago. Uh, I think opened your ears and eyes to. Oh, uh, man, blew my mind. Yeah. Extremely good artist. Um, and told a brilliant story in a brilliant way that was fascinating and compelling and then Kendrick obviously comes on and plays the the kind of the other character in the story and does yeah. his verse and well, I mean when does he ever miss never he's ne you know he doesn't have a lazy bar in him that man and I've gone back and listened to it like the production on it everything about it you're just like I remember coming to the end I was like is there going to be a better song this year I don't know I could there's a few of these I could easily put as number one that would well, easily that album be there. in general was special wasn't yeah, it yeah I mean, real, real banger yeah I mean, I, we, we're probably gonna, we said we might do our albums of the year individually on our own yeah, channels yeah. just because 
we'd be here forever, I think, if we were trying to do that's albums. Brilliant. But, I mean, it's going to be up there for me, that that one. And that's across all rock, metal, hip-hop, everything. It's going to be up there. That, that oh, it was album. amazing. Yeah, yeah. It was some of the, even the opening with the, whatever the letter came in or the message. Yeah, that yeah, was, it was, it was away, like, yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah, was, got, yeah, that uproar track. And, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's just, just tunes on there's just tunes for days. And the track with X was good as well. Yeah, but, all of it. Yeah, yeah. all of it. Um, my next one, I'm looking now where to go. I'll go No More, Metro Boomin', um, which sounds like a probably a weird one to, to throw out there. But it's a song, this one is more going the other way. It's a song when I first heard it, it got me with that yeah. kind of atmosphere and the sort of harmonies it created, but it's still got me now. In fact, it's probably got better the more I've listened yeah. to it. And it doesn't actually even do that much. It's kind of a very mm-hmm. structured and repetitive song, but it just creates an atmosphere. So yeah. That's what gets me. It's like, oh, I don't know. It gives me chills like, when I think about it. Like, it's just, and that's why... I wouldn't have that. It's kind of when I was doing this, I looked through my phone. What songs I've listened to the most? I listen to that all the time. Yeah. Even when I'm on the tube or something like that, I put it on because it just it chills me out, but also puts me on edge. It's weird. It and, does do that. Yeah, and also like the singing is good, the rapping is good. They're not necessarily singing about anything or rapping anything sort of super powerful. I mean, it's about getting drunk a lot of it. But, but it's sort of um, the, the sort of you know, there's that uh, the kind of depressive side of doing that, and like you know, the kind of time. stuck. But in also this struggling with fame that. and yeah. things like, like it's just it says a lot without saying a lot at the same time and. Mostly it is the again it's the it's the, the music that's actually there with people over the top and I just I love Travis Scott's vocals on it as well like it's yeah, just yeah. It's the first yeah, line yeah. he sings it's just oh man yeah. it's powerful Tony Savage's uh, verse on that oh man it's well. just yeah, yeah. It, it, it gets silly too like when I talk about getting drunk and you hear yeah, a drink yeah. being poured yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, every time I hear it I go, it's unnecessary yeah. but now I like it wasn't yeah. it? I'd miss it yeah exactly don't so, want to take it out exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. so I think it's a grower on me that one and like I said, I think that one for me is more who the hell is Metro booming to me in February 2018 I'd yeah. be like what are you talking about and now. He's a guy that's on my playlist, and you know, if I'm on Shuffle or whatever, and he comes on, like, I'm definitely checking that exactly. out. Exactly. So, yeah, I had to get a shout out from me. It's crazy yeah. how much to go back occasionally, we'll watch one of our very old videos yeah. just to watch, just to see what we're I doing now. Yeah, yeah, it's a good thing to do. And I was like, shit, we have learned so much oh, yeah, in I mean, this year. And I'm not there. So we've much more to learn, but you can see it, it's right there. Yeah. It's out there. You can see the evolution. So, yeah, yeah that's mine. That's yeah, mine. I love that song, man. I love that song. All right, next to me, um, it's a song. I don't know if you've heard this song, but I think I did. You know the thing we do to Spotify yeah. most of the year, and the song I played most this year, apart from Shotgun by George Ezra by my yeah, kids, yeah. was um, the games we played, the second track off Daytona from Pusha T. Um, I won't have heard it, no. I don't think we heard it. And the reason we didn't do it on the channel is because I. It was between. That one came out when we did two, like a big gap between recordings. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I fucking heard it like five times. You may do it in the future, you never know. It's a brilliant track. It's got, uh, is it, it's like a classic Kanye production. Um, real, like, ama- like beautiful chopped up soul production with like horns and things like that. Oh, and then just Pusha T just coming in with flames about the drug dealer life, but the, the, the glamorous side of the drug dealer life. And, yeah. you know, how, like, a lot of the album is about that. And it's just, him just being in that kind of class of his own, he can talk about a life in a, a, in a way that other people can't, just because he was like, you know, plenty of rappers with drug dealers and plenty lie about that and plenty don't, yeah. but from what I understand, he was a high level drug dealer, and you know, you can say what you want about that, but there's a certain Scorsese-esque appeal to hearing yes, about is. that, right? And also he's just really good at what he does. He's ex- I haven't heard that track, but I imagine rapper. it's really yeah, good. Yeah, he just, it's not even very long. It's only about two and a half minutes long, and you're just like, that's just an absolute fucking tune. So yeah. that's the song I played most this year out of any type of music, so I had to go on my list. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It was a show, right? Yeah, yeah. We should, we'll do more for Shijin. I want to hear more for Shijin anyway, so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my one, this is just, this is me going very introspective and stuff that talks to me. Eminem and Joyner, Lucas, lucky you. It's just, if yeah, someone, yeah, yeah, some, yeah. someone said, Mello, pick a version of hip-hop that you can listen to forever, it will be that. I love Eminem's delivery. Joyner Lucas is probably my favourite artist that's come out of all of this, at least up there. Yeah. They both just fire constantly. They're both like, burum, burum, burum. Yeah. Uh, again, I don't know, they're just not really singing about anything too, you know, important or anything like that, but it's fast, it's fire, uh, it's got attitude to it, it's got edge, it's heavy. Yeah. And I just yeah, love yeah. the delivery of Eminem anyway. I knew that before this. But Joyner Lucas, again, I love his, you know, triplets or whatever you want to call it, burum, burum, yeah. trap stuff. It's just great. And that song, given that I already knew Eminem, they come together, the beat is good. It catches me any time again. It gets me all pumped up in the gym. Mm-hmm. Again, I imagine it's not a lot of people's first, right? even not on that album, but for me, I think it's brilliant. Yeah, I too. really, really do. And again, if someone said, Miller, that's all you can listen to, I'd be like, you know what, give it to me. I'm not going to get bored for it for a long ass time. So that gets in there for me as well. Yeah, like, it was just brilliant. And yeah. Joy Lucas as well. Just shout out to Joy Lucas in general. Just so happy that I've been able to sort of understand that stuff because I love it. I think it's yes, great. Yes, absolutely. Now, I, that's, up there for me as well, and the reason I didn't put it on mine is I had a sneaky suspicion you were going to put it on yeah, yours. Yeah, well, I think, I think a lot of doing with the that. reverse might be for this one, which is an obvious one. It's sicko mode. Well, yeah, by, yeah, by, yeah. By that's why Scott. I didn't put it on mine. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
did the um, actually my last one's probably the thing. same as well so but we'll get okay, to that in cool, a second cool, cool. Yeah. What, what can you say just the tour de force of somehow blending the experimental with the the grandiose and, yeah. you know, and, and making pop music out of something so bizarre and it gets better every time you listen to it it gets better every time you listen to it the production is insane yeah. the video is insane we made two of my favourite videos ever to that track where we just fucked about and <laughs> yeah. kind of yeah, changed what we do a little bit which I love uh, Drake's verse is daft and brilliant. I mean, it's mainly about taking half a sleeping pill and falling asleep <laughs> yeah. on a flight. That's mainly what his verse is about. Yeah. Yet he makes it sound like the coolest thing of all time, true. which is an art to it. And it's like, what's that song about? It's just fucking coolness and being going to Astro World and everything being awesome, which is why, for some reason, we decided to turn into weird upside down <laughs> glasses people with masks on. Yeah, I, I could listen to that song forever. Still feels fresh now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Times, I mean, yeah, it feels like that's going to be the song that kind of really lasts from yeah. this year in terms of like real like, mainstream pop hits. I think it's been number one in the States for ages. Still number one now. It's still up there. It's still, yeah. Yeah, when I was looking for songs, yeah, right. still there. Uh, yeah, my last one for the exact same reasons. Uh, I thought John. I thought well, I thought one of us would put it on, so I took a risk and thought put it on there. Probably, I think important not only for us as a channel but people that probably never heard hip hop and also just a general statement yeah. of the year obviously as Childish Gambino this is America well, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. And again it's not a song from a listen point of view that I think is the best song of the year but given the message given the cultural impact it had yeah. given the message it was trying to send uh, the video some, some of the parodies that unfortunately it created Gosh, which yeah. people missed the mark entirely uh, and yeah the video it just I think you can't really have a track listing like this or I don't think so I mean you feel free to debate that of course I accept it um, but again it was another one of those songs that really goes to show how powerful the genre can be yes. and how some people are in it are actually trying to use it to make a difference which not a lot of people do mm -hmm. uh, obviously you hear about them when they do but that's because not a lot of people are doing it that's the point that's yeah. when the people that do show you're like whoa what's this and it's probably going to be something we look back on in a few years time and realise probably had even more importance than you know yeah. take on today so I think it had to be on there it had to be near, near sort of the top end of my list again no particular order but if I had to it would push it up there because like you say something you can watch first time and then learn more about the more the more you watch yeah i think that's in there absolutely well. well yeah i mean we're fortunate enough to have our very first reaction to it on video it's there you it's go our biggest video yeah, still it's our biggest, that's yeah. the reason i thought it out. It goes to show it's our yeah. biggest video and that's not as important as everything else but it goes to show the importance it did have yes because even what's our biggest video that one because it had yes. a cultural impact so. absolutely absolutely that and then we're, both of us went back and like watched things about it and learned yeah, about learn, it right yeah, down yeah. There. and then i went on to go and learn more about you know like Civil rights movement rules. That's, that's the thing. Which is it like, did that amazing yeah. thing where it wanted you to make you want to read. Yes. And they are, that's a powerful, powerful tool. Absolutely. So, uh, and on that note as well, just we do honourable mentions. I think it was this year. John Lucas, I'm Not Racist. Is that 2018? I don't know. Well, even if it's not, I'm going to yeah. shout out to you for the same kind of reasons. I heard it in 2018. Yes. So my first honourable mention would be that because it did exactly the same yeah. thing. I was like, wow, this is crossing boundaries. It's pushing people. Like It's fearless. All those kind of things. So yeah, that's just an honourable mention for me. Yeah. There's loads um, more. Yeah, I mean, should I do just reel off a few on? Just start shouting them off, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we literally just did two Meek Mill tracks. Oh, the yeah, record, he, he shot right up to Which I've top. only heard them both once each because we're in the same recording session now. Yeah, yeah. I reckon they'd quite easily replace uh, maybe one of these tracks, one of them, Trauma and What's Free. But I just Amazing, don't, yeah. I don't think you put a song you've heard once in your top yeah. five. It'd be a bit No, 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 that's just the Yeah, I may go off them. I probably won't. Yeah. I think it'll be the other way. J. Cole as well, we should probably throw in there. Hey, yeah. Came out this year, that's yeah. Good, so. Loads off that KD yeah, yeah. album. I was struggling with not putting one on there, but not one stood out as much as some of the other Cole tracks we heard this year. Because basically, both, all of Cole's music we've only heard this year. Exactly. There's still loads and we haven't heard. Not of this year, a lot of yeah. it as well. Yeah, so yeah. therefore, it doesn't count in the. In and the I didn't find that there was anything on KD that was of the same level as some of yeah. the other stuff that we yeah, heard, yeah, which yeah. is why I didn't put it on there. Um, I'm going to put uh, Working Out by JD on yeah. there as well. Um, brilliant track, such a soft, gentle instrumental up there. Uh, could probably interchange that and ASAP Rocky actually, to be honest. But um, yeah, yeah, and there's loads. They do. There's loads more. I can't. I, oh yeah, I have a couple more that I'll mention if you've got any more. I can't. I, I don't know if they come out this year. Is the problem yeah. now? I'm starting to worry. I mean, I would give a shout out to Kanye West, not from his stuff this year, but this in this year. Yeah. I heard shit like Runaway. Yes. And, well, um, obviously, before you yell in the comments, we know that's not. Well, out that's really yet. old. Really, really. That's so safe public. Yeah. Really old. I think one's five years old. Yeah. But I heard them this year. So I actually had them on my list at one point. I looked them up on a course not. Yeah. If an honourable mention in terms of me finding music in this, I put him in there. Yeah, yeah. Which is crazy because he's had a crazy year, right? Controversial figures. Yes. Says some pretty potty yeah, things. Yeah. So 
you know. And actually, that was the artist that I was going to mention. Both his track "Ghost Town" on his well, Yay that's, album. That's what I was going to reference and, as well. Like, um, I think Yee or Yay, whatever yeah. it was called, was, was yeah. pretty good. And like. the the, um, the Cuddy uh, Cuddy remix, I think it's called on yeah. um, Kids See Ghost, which is a fantastic track. So yeah, honourable mentions. I'm There's a bunch now more. To make sure I haven't missed anybody. Like, what's in my? No, I think I've got everyone that I, yeah. I wanted to touch upon. But there's loads. We will have missed them, but that's what the comment section is for. Yeah, I'm so. going to literally be one comment in and I'll be like, oh, oh Duckworth. Shout out to Duckworth. Shout as well. out to Duckworth. Yeah, Duckworth. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. that. That was one of my yeah, like, yeah. oh, that was yeah, really, yeah, really good. So yeah, yeah, absolutely shout out to Duckworth. When did uh, the, the um, Outside of Mind song come out? OSOM. Was that, that this year? This year. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to J. Cole. J. Rock, sorry. Shout out to him as that last song. God, there's been so many, dude. There's been so many. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I think. What you got anything else for us? Yeah, I can't. Think. I mean, like I say, there's going to be more kills tracks. as well. Not hip hop. We're not doing a metal one. So yeah. Ice kills. Get shout yeah, shout out, yeah, shout out to yeah. architects as well for yeah, doing exactly. the metal stuff as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. We ain't doing that because we had like three. and We go. We're out of albums. Yeah. Really small bell. Uh, anyway, that's that. You good? Yeah, that's man. Let it. us know in the in the yeah, comments. That's what the comments yeah, are for. Do, do what top 10, do what top did we miss? Do you want? What's your favorite track of the year? What do you want to see from 2019 from us and from the world of hip hop? Yeah. Just everything. Give us information. Talk to us. Have a chat, and we'll be there to to get back to your ass as well. Yeah. So. Well, basically, thanks so much for the genuinely. Support of you. Yeah, it's, it's been that. fucking nuts. I mean, we, we did not expect to be sat here today with. I mean, when we're recording this for just over two hundred thousand. Who knows? This yeah. Few, we're releasing this in a few weeks' time, so. Who knows what's going to happen? But yeah, genuinely, thank you for allowing this to be a thing. Absolutely. Because who knows where it would be otherwise. I wish we'd still be doing it, but maybe not as we're doing it now. We much prefer it this way. So Yes, absolutely. And 2019 is only going to be bigger, badder, more badass. Like Gears of War. Like Gears of War 2. It's favourite game. It is my favourite game. Yep. Anyway, like and subscribe. Again, leave a comment below. Twitter, Instagram links here for John, me and Romy. Come mm. follow us. Come keep the conversation going. Come tell us what you're into, what you enjoy, all of that stuff. And more importantly, thanks for the support and thank you very much absolutely. for watching. Happy New Year and we'll catch you on the next one.